Hey guys, I'm Ados here, so I've received a request uh, from one of my viewers to make a, de a deck profile for my rank 7 level deck. So I'll make it quite simple and easy to make uh, sure that everyone will be able to understand everything. So let's move on, I run triple blaster, it's a level 7 monster and you know the dragon roller so there's no reason why you shouldn't be running this here. I run triple level burner, it just, uh, this card is uh, like a cyber dragon for the deck, it's searchable by the level of a dragon and it makes sure that you could uh, actually do other stuff other than simply, simply relaying on level cannon and rekindling. So that's a thing. I run two level mega cannon here for the kindling plays. I run triple level cannon for uh, le for the synchro plays and uh, recycling banished levels. I run triple level miller because I needed the uh, levels in the graveyard as soon as possible. This uh, deck, uh, unlike the regular level deck, actually requ requires you uh, the, to set up as soon as possible simply because <coughs> simply because there's the level burner and level coatel that requires you to have trip uh, or more levels with diff with different names for you to special summon them. And if you really want to actually do something with this deck, you need the levels in the graveyard as soon as possible. So that's a thing, and also you could uh, use this card and one lake side in case your opponent wants uh, destroy it for some other reason to go for a level dragoon. A level of a dragoon, my bad on that. And uh, level of a dragoon uh, pretty much sets you up for future plays by getting you the levels you need to the hand of the graveyard and so on. So I also run uh, two level lakeside lady for the destruction of back row and making sure the plays would go on. Also, she has the synergy with level uh, with level cannon and with DDR and uh, return from different dimensions. So that's also a thing. I run triple level coatel because they have the synergy with level uh, burn with level burner to go for level 7 synchros and for uh, extra synchro ability I run triple level volcano handmaiden for uh, setting up the graveyard and my uh, kindling place I run one reinforcement of the army for level cannon I run triple molten conduction field for level can for uh, the place I, uh, as I've said before I need the uh, levels in the graveyard as soon as possible so this card is uh, quite important I run triple rekindling because it's the win condition of the deck whether you run quiz or not you have too many plays to actually do with this card and you get, uh, you get an insane amount of advantage with the single uh, rekindling so running them isn't really an issue here I run one gold uh, sarcophagus for uh, for blaster and cannon plays you could banish uh, level from the deck and special summon it uh, through DDR or, or level cannon or simply get uh, another blaster to the hand by banishing one from the deck I run foolish burial because I've said before I need the uh, levels in the graveyard as soon as possible. I run two magical stone exhibitions because they can help you recycling the rekindlings and sometimes you have dead levels in the hand that you, you'd rather not have so you could replace them with a handy spell card so that's not bad. I run triple pot of duality for uh, consistency and in the very first turns of the duel you don't really special summon too much you actually would rather set up way more so that help actually helps you out I run triple DDR for the banishment place and one uh, return from different dimension which is uh, another win condition for the deck and I honestly don't see why you not so that's it I'll go for the extra deck now I run one level scan on it has his uh, uh, protection from targeting effect and it's not limited to one spell tone so that's quite nice I run triple ancient flame validate it this card alone can uh, go for a huge amount of attack points it's also banishing cards from the opponent's graveyard so it kind of disrupts their place uh, especially later on and it's also having 
200 uh, defense so you could use them for kindling for like seven plays i run one black horse dragon because because it's a level seven simple staple i run one level of a dragon because it's like a guide drag for dragonity this card lets you get the levels to the hand and dump the ones you don't need to the graveyard i run one hyper librarian because even though you don't go for for quasar here you get a lot of pluses uh, through it by single summoning and that's pretty much it for this uh, card it's quite broken in synchro centric decks i run one level dual slasher this card alone deals 4800 damage against the uh, tokens so this card can pretty much end games against uh, dragon rulers if you, they manage to summon a uh, draco staff and that's quite handy i run the the level 5 synchro staples for obvious reasons I run the level of dragon because it's like uh, an archetype themed uh, Bryonac and that's quite nice and uh, uh, rank 7 monsters, the 2 Draco sacks and 2 big guys so that's pretty much it I've received a huge amount of uh, deck profiles and uh, video requests I'll make sure that I'll eventually post everything and also I'll post uh, videos about extra things that I'd uh, like to show you guys so don't really uh, get too worried about that uh, make sure that, that everyone will get uh, whatever they want so guys that's pretty much it don't forget to like subscribe and comment and see you guys next time